This morning at Hanua Bada, a church service was held under the makeshift tents that housed the homeless families. Fifteen houses were lost to the fire, with another six damaged. No casualties were reported. The Ninao family, among many others, are mourning the loss of their history. Well, uh, our ancestors, uh, grandfathers, when they go to go inside to hunt and to go out fishing, whatever they bring back, they put it on the, on the big the back veranda, which we call the Hebana. And uh, they do their sharing. Uh, they call people to that uh, big veranda, which is the Hebana and they do the sharing to the village people. To the village people. Oh, the, the houses were built after the war. After the war. Yeah. But you know, before the war, they usually, they usually do that. You know, after, after the war, we sort of uh, grew apart, and that tradition wasn't, uh, uh, wasn't kept. But His sister, Davara Udu, said it saddened her every time she thinks of the properties she lost, not just the materials, but the history of the house. As my brother said, it's our ancestral home. And it's so sad that as for a female, I was just lost for words and I was just crying, crying my heart out. According to my ancestors, that the houses they built are gone. <laughs> With everything in that house. It's very sad. Kaya Hila's house was the first that caught fire. She and her family have lost everything and are left with what they were wearing. This is where my grand grandparents' house is, but I have been uh, the custodian of the house. I've been living here with my children and my grandchildren. How the fire started, we don't know, but because it's a close knit, the, the houses are very close to close to the fire just spread with the wind yesterday we, we just couldn't help help it help um, help stop the fire in one house an average of 15 people live in there the highest being 26 and the least being six extended families live together and that is the same for many houses Families affected are camping in tents and a committee has been set up to help fundraise to rebuild and repair homes that were damaged. Myself and Daddy Junior, as well as Dover here now from uh, PNG uh, Business Council. And uh, there were 15 houses that were burnt down. Uh, uh, we will have two from each family, I think one, and uh, that one part of the family and also some church members. The committee plans to raise two million kina in a week to start the process of rebuilding homes. Our, our goal is to raise two million kina in the next couple of weeks to, uh, to start the rebuilding process. So our, our, our appeal now is to the public to uh, you know, uh, give. Uh, tomorrow morning uh, we will be opening a trust account. But the community has united and aided the homeless families. They have assisted them with food and shelter to those families affected. A trust fund will be open tomorrow if anyone would like to make a deposit to the families affected. Meanwhile, the cause of the fire is yet to be established. Adelaide Sirox, Kari National, MTV News.